Hey guys, Crystal here. So I wanted to give you a tip that I use on my children's bunk beds. Since we have bunk beds that are in the corner, we have, the, the kids unfortunately just don't have their own bedroom in the RV. They have corner bunks. So it's a little bit tricky to get in there and change it as opposed to them having their own own little room with space to take out the bed so easily and change the sheets. So I will show you what I do to change my boy's sheets. Now, I have been asked several times by people, are can you buy just regular twin sheets for an RV mattress? And the answer is, yes you can, although it won't fit correctly. I will show you how you can make a twin sheet fit your RV bunk bed mattress a little bit more snug so that way you don't have to go out and pay like forty dollars or so for an RV sheet to fit your bed. So the RV mattresses are I believe they're about seven inches smaller than your typical twin bed and it is a so much thinner so it's about it's about four inches Thick. It is not comfortable at all for an adult to lay on an RV bunk bed mattress. Actually, RV mattresses in general are extremely uncomfortable, but the RV bunk bed mattresses are even more so. Because they're so thin, there's hardly any padding at all. So it is much better for a child who lays west, lays, weighs less, that way their, uh, their weight won't be so much that you'll feel the the hard floor underneath of it but this is my youngest son's mattress his name is Zach he's three years old and he is potty trained however he does have accidents every now and then so what I have done is bought a twin size mattress cover now as you can see this is way way bigger than it needs to be for an RV bat, an RV uh, mattress. Now, since I sew and I do carry a sewing machine in my RV, I could just adjust this with my sewing machine to make it fit. However, since I know that in the future we will be settling down and my boys will actually have twin beds, I do not want to do that because I want this to go to that. So what I'm going to do is just take the excess and roll it down the side so you'll see a roll here I'm just rolling it so it's not so it's nice and snug but uh, I'm not flipping it all the way over because if you just flip it over it's just gonna be uneven and more than likely uncomfortable so I'll lay this back down since I've rolled it as snug as I can get it now this is a trick that I've used that makes my life easier whenever my son does have an accident. So it took him a little bit to get nighttime potty trained. He got daytime potty trained before he was even two years old, but it's taken the longest time to get nighttime potty trained. So he does have accidents every now and then. So what I like to do is I'll put a sheet that these are also twin size sheets. I'll put a sheet on one side of this. Now this is a sheet that is not, I guess you would call the nice sheet. It's just uh, a little bit worn down and could get dirty and I wouldn't care kind of thing or could even get ruined and I wouldn't care. This, this specific sheet was extremely cheap and not of the greatest quality. So I've got my sheet on this side and I'll flip it over. Now you can see there is a ton of ex excess of sheet on this. So my trick is to make this as snug as possible on all ends there's just a lot of excess. Now, that will not be the side that he sleeps on. I know it sounds weird because I just put a sheet on that side, but he's actually not gonna sleep on that side. This side will be facing down as it is right now. So I will show you, I will tell you that I 
actually end up putting another sheet on the other side. Now this right here is a twin size mattress protector that's waterproof. And I know that seems silly because I already have a type of plastic covering on the mattress bed that uh, if he had an accident, it would not penetrate the mattress. Now, these mattresses are really poor quality, so you're probably like, why am I even bother taking care of them? Well, if I do ever plan to resell my RV, which I don't, but I mean, if that ever happens, I would like things to be taken care of and in good, decent shape for the next owner. And it's also, you know, you just, you don't want to ruin your things. You know, I, I would like nice things. So I like to keep them in nice condition. So this is the twin size uh, waterproof mattress cover. So this may seem silly, but this is a super, super thick cloth that I lay down. And you do not have to do this. I'm just showing you how I make my three-year-old's bed in specific. What's fun about this is this is actually a, an adult sized cloth diaper. Fun, right? Well, it fits the mattress perfectly and the width anyways. I also lay this down. Here's the, here's the reason why I do all this. When my son actually does have an accident, it is super soaker. I mean, it is bad. Um, so if he spends the day with someone, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and say his Nana, if he spends the day with her and she brings him home, um, and he has drank a lot of liquids and, uh, he just needs to go to bed and doesn't have time to wait an hour of having no liquids, then more than likely he might have an accident. So I like to be very well prepared. So, and sometimes when I do that, the layers that I put down also help in possibly not penetrating all the layers so I don't have to wash them all. But, so now I have his bed made and this is all twin size stuff that I have on his bed. So I'll flip it back over. So now you'll see that I have the first sheet that I put on here and then you'll see the the back side of where he's actually gonna lay now these are little corner pieces for your bed I believe they're sold in like the adult section of bedding so you can use these for the corner of your beds which I actually do use on my bed because my RV mattress that sheet tends to flip out all the time on me. So the trick that I use is to put these little stretchy bands on his sheet and I get it really nice and snug. Now these come in a four pack. I have several of these all over the house because I use them on both of my children's bed as well as my own bed however the fourth one to this little set has disappeared but with having kids I'm honestly not surprised that's why I have extra of just about everything so three of these will do the job though so I'm not too worried about that but this is going to keep it really nice and snug so the sheet does not come off. If you're putting a smaller child in there, I know that it can be worrisome that uh, the sheet might roll up and be over their head, which is not safe at all. So I really like an extra, an added safety feature of this being stretched out and being a little bit more form fitting on the bed. These can be slightly tricky to get in, but okay, so see, this is how much bigger a twin sheet is. 
But I wanted to tell you guys that the reason why I put this sheet on the bottom is because if my son does have an accident and say it's the middle of the night or it's nap time and I don't have time to wash them, all I have to do is take off this stuff and flip over the mattress and he automatically has a clean sheet to sleep on that night or for nap time. So it saves me a ton of time to already have an extra sheet put on his mattress. Also, it saves space from me having to store an extra fitted sheet somewhere. So it's already on the bed, no worries. There's two, he has, both of my boys have two, so <clears throat> that's not an issue. See how much more fitted this is. Now, <coughs> my son has his, sleeps in the middle of the bunk. is not always something people are comfortable with <coughs> excuse me so what I do is with this pool noodle because he sleeps in the middle bunk which is um, oddly his brother did not want the middle bunk his brother <coughs> his big brother wanted the the bottom bunk which was weird. He said the middle bunk was scary and my, my three-year-old's like, I'll take the middle bunk. So I'm like, okay. But it did make me kind of nervous having him there. So I took a pool noodle from the store. Actually, I think my kids already had a pool noodle. And uh, I put it in this corner of the bed. Since their opening is just, you know, yay big. I only needed it cut in half. If you wanted to, you could do the whole length, but our, there's a wall there where his legs are and such, so there's no need. But I feel like this little precaution right here has saved him from rolling out of the bed numerous times. So what I do to get this in the bed is fold it like a taco. These beds are super thin, very flimsy, and easy to maneuver. They're just large and a pain in the butt though sometimes. So I will show you how I put this in his bunk bed. Okay, so there is the opening to his bed. So like I said, I usually just fold it up like a giant taco and toss it in there gently because he has stuff on his walls, but and I also don't want to bump anything to make those corner straps come off. But I'll show you what his bed looks like now that I have that in. But it's very nice and tight. And that is a twin mattress sheet on an RV bunk bed. So this is what it looks like here. There's a nice size, like good three to four inch bump here so that when he does have his pillow down there, he, if he rolls into that, he will not roll out. However, since he's young, I also always put his pillow like right here, and then he sleeps right there. He doesn't ever have his pillow right here, and then sleeps right here because it just makes me nervous. I feel like if I put his pillow down farther and he sleeps down there, then it's better for him, safety-wise. So this is what it looks like final product I guess you could say um, see the space where his the top of the pillow would usually go probably if you're like a teenager or preteen he's very short you know he's only three so I put his pillow down there and then his blanket he likes his stuffed animals there I do keep a fan here in front of his face he seems to get really hot at night and this bunk especially gets very hot this bunk at my top bunk which was used for storage is actually the hottest so i have a fan there i also have a little fan here which is adjustable so he enjoys it very much but that is my little tip for changing and uh, making it easier for you to change rv sheets is to have two on there so hope this helped you guys thanks bye